I remember that we first responded to the question, what do scientists think, by saying that they think a variety of things and this is only natural. Uh, on the one hand, they hoped that this instrument would never be used in war, and therefore they hoped that we would not start out by using it. On the other hand, they hoped, or other people hoped, that it would put an end to this war, save countless lives, put an end to a, a, a butchery that had been going on for many years and had been marked by atrocities, concentration camps, murderous raids on cities, on Rotterdam and Dresden and Tokyo itself. You ask yourself, would the Japanese government as then constituted and with the bitter division between the party and the war party, would it have been influenced by a, an enormous nuclear firecracker detonated at great height, doing little damage, uh, and your answer is as good as mine, I don't know. I know only that I was told that an invasion was planned, that it would be necessary, and that it would be terribly costly. I turned back and I saw a huge ball of fire, bright yellow, rising through the atmosphere, and the whole atmosphere in the direction of the bomb was filled with strange violet light. It was one of the most aesthetically beautiful things I've ever seen. On an enormous scale was a cloud was peach. We knew the world would not be the same. Few people laughed. Few people cried. Most people were silent. I remembered the line from the Hindu scripture, the Bhagavad Gita.